Who owns the Ever Given container ship? Here are the things you are going to learn in this video. Suez Canal and its importance to Egyptian economy and who operates the canal. Things we should know about the Ever Given container ship. Who owns the ship and who operates the ship? You would be surprised. At the end of this video you will have better understanding about how this particular container shipping business is structured. Before we get started, if you're interested to learn about the deep analysis of businesses and important events happening all around the world, this is probably one of the best channels to follow on YouTube, so you might consider subscribing. Okay, let's get back to our story. Suez Canal is one of the world's vital trade routes. It connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea, dividing Africa and Asia and provides the shortest sea link between Asia and Europe. It is a huge asset for Egypt, providing much needed foreign cash to the Egyptian economy. In 2020, it generated $5.61 billion revenue for Egypt. 50 ships passes through the canal a day. Goods passed through the canal equates to 12% of world's trade. Ever Given is one of the world's largest container ships. It's owned by Shuai Kaisen Kaisha, a ship-owning and leasing subsidiary of the large Japanese shipbuilding company Imabara Shipbuilding. It's operated by Taiwanese container transportation and shipping company Evergreen Marine. It's managed by the German ship management company Bernhard Schulte Ship Management BSM. The Evergiven was traveling north towards Mediterranean when it lost power and steering on 23rd of March 2021. It's gone sideways and is currently blocking the Suez Canal both south and north passages. It's expected to have huge ramifications for trade between Asia and Europe. The alternative route around the Cape of Good Hope on the southern tip of Africa. It takes around extra two weeks to go around Africa. Since this incident happened, the container transportation prices between China and Europe went up four times as going around Africa makes the traveling distance between China and Europe a lot longer. Suez Canal blockage costs $400 million an hour for world trade. The trade losses expect to hit $10 billion a week. So what are the potential reasons for the failure? Ever Given is a massive vessel. It weighs around 200,000 tons and it is 400 meter long. Apparently the ship was blown off course by a sudden strong wind and a dust storm. Engine failure or steering failure might be some other reasons. Ship's technical managers disagree with latter. Egyptian meteorologists reported that high winds and a sandstorm had affected the area on the day of the grounding. Local authorities and Berner Schulte Ship Management Vessel Management Company are trying to refloat the ship. Marine salvage experts from Smid Salvage had been appointed to do the job. According to the marine and salvage engineers, freeing the ship could take weeks. On 9th of February 2019, the Ever Given had a collision with a ferry boat while passing through Elbe River near the harbor of Hamburg due to high winds. Who is the Suez Canal Authority? Suez Canal Authority SCA is a government agency which owns, operates and maintains the Suez Canal. It reports to the Prime Minister of Egypt. It is founded in 26th of July 1956. Its headquarters is in Ismailia, Egypt. Who owns the ship? As we mentioned earlier, the ship is owned by Shuai Kaisen Kaisha. SKK, a ship owning and leasing subsidiary of the largest Japanese shipbuilding company Imabara Shipbuilding. SKK is a private limited company registered in Japan in February 1962. According to their website, the company employs 29 people and it has an operating capital of 60 million yen. Imabara Shipbuilding is Japan's largest shipbuilding and service company. It is fourth largest shipbuilding company in the world. Established in 1901, the company is privately held and tightly controlled and run by the Higaki family. Its 2016 revenue was $3.43 billion. It currently operates nine shipbuilding and maintenance facilities as well as marketing offices in Tokyo and Amsterdam. On 1st of January 2021, Imabara Shipbuilding merged into a new joint venture with Japan Marine United JMU, where Imabara Shipbuilding holds 51% of the shares and JMU 49%. The new JV is named Nihon Shipyard, covering all ship types except LNG tankers. Nihon Shipyard is headquartered in Tokyo with a 500 staff. On top of that, Imabara Shipbuilding bought 30% of JMU's capital. Who operates the ship? 
The Ever Given is operated by Evergreen Marine Corporation, the Taiwanese container transportation and shipping company. It operates 150 container ships. It's part of the Evergreen Group. The company's activities include shipping, construction of containers and ships, management of ports, and engineering and real estate development. It's the fifth largest shipping company in the world. The company was founded on 1st of September 1968 by Yung Fa Chang. Over the past 40 years, the Evergreen Group has diverse its business interest expanding into hospitality and airline industry. EVA Air made its maiden flight on July 1, 1991, is Taiwan's first and only privately owned international airline, and Evergreen International Hotels operates five-star properties throughout Taiwan and in key locations overseas. Evergreen Group is part of the Hartford Financial Services Group, usually known as the Hartford, is a US-based investment and insurance company. The Hartford is the third 13th largest property and casualty insurance company in the United States. The Hartford does marine insurance. That's not a surprise. I wonder if the Hartford insured its trouble cheap the ever given. That's about it. Thanks for watching.